hang, hang, whoop, whoop, ba da, ba da. Okay. Uh, how are y'all? Um, it's Vibin' with Jasmine. If you are a new viewer, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you are a return subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Make sure you like, comment, and hit that bell so you can be notified every time that I make a post. I will be posting more often now. I was having some difficulties with my camera and my computer, and I'm still having difficulties with my computer but I was so it like made me really unmotivated to do videos but now I'm just gonna be editing on my phone and I'm still recording on my camera though so yeah that's what's been going on and that's why I haven't been recording or uploading but today I'm gonna be coming back with um, today I'm coming back to y'all with a everyday makeup routine and um for this makeup routine I'm gonna be doing a voiceover so yeah let's get into it okay so right here you guys just see me showing my makeup brushes which i'll be using throughout the video i do not use makeup sponges that is why you only see brushes also before we start let me just state that i am not a makeup artist this is just what i do and what works for me Okay, so right here I'm just putting the concealer over all my blemishes, dark spots, anything that I find on my face I don't like, just so that I can brighten it up and make sure that it is not dark spots underneath of my makeup. Okay, so now I'm just using the pro concealer to go over the other concealer just to kind of like you know level out the colors because the first one is super bright and this one is kind of my skin color yeah i don't like it i don't like it i don't like it okay anywho back to what i was doing right now i'm just brushing my eyebrows upwards just because it's easier to fill in when i brush them upwards i can see the gaps I then go in with the same concealer I used to cover the light patches at first and I also use an angle brush just because it's much easier to use an angle brush than this like a straight brush. Make sure that your brush has a really skinny top so that you can get the most crisp line. After I'm done concealing my eyebrows, I then go behind myself and wipe it off with my finger or a paper towel just so that my eyebrows don't look too light um, above or underneath of them.
so right now I'm just blending all of my concealer in on the black spots I mean not black spots like acne scars I have on my face and just like underneath my eyes and I just want to make sure that it's not too white underneath of my foundation and then after I am done blending all of this in I will go in with my foundation I use two different kinds of the L'Oreal foundation just because one is too dark but one is also too light and the both of them together just like mixes perfectly. does anybody else check their makeup on their phone or is it just me because like sometimes in the light you be looking like it's not it's not right so yeah So I totally realized that I forgot to show you guys the makeup palette I used for like my contouring and blush. But it's just like a makeup palette from um, Five Below and I literally just used the darkest shade and put it on my cheeks. And I used the brightest red shade and put it on my cheeks also. So yeah. So I actually learned this trick from TikTok to put your powder, blush, and bronzer all on your face together and just blend it all in together, which has definitely worked for me. I wet my brush just so that I can get any caked up powder off of my face. Just a little ghetto trick that I learned that putting matte red lipstick on your cheeks makes the blush just a little brighter.
when outlining my lips i do overline them just a little bit just because i feel like i have really thin lips and this just makes them look a little bit thicker Now I'm just going over my beauty marks and also creating fake beauty marks all around my face. I put mascara on my eyelashes before I put the lashes on just because it is easier to blend the false lashes and my real lashes together once they're on. Putting on the lash glue, I found that it's super important to make sure you put it directly on the lash line. So I just put it directly on the lash line and then I just allow it to get a little tacky and yeah. I placed my lashes on with my hands just because I felt that tweezers were making the job a lot harder. And I always start with the back of my lash, then I move towards the front of my lash, just because the back always tells me exactly where I need to place the front lash. And then I just press my natural lashes into the fake lash. Okay, sorry y'all, y'all might hear the fan. But this is the end of my makeup tutorial, all done. Um, my hair is giving grandma, but it's okay because I still look cute. Anyways, if you watched all the way till now, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know more video ideas you guys would like to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video.